Canada. First event always met with hope, but also tinged with apprehension. This season, after all, is not so much about the journey, but all about the destination. New direction, new beginnings. Shadowing greatness, the Champion Series spins drama around the globe. Stories touching our hearts, punctuated with moments conjured only by courage. The Nationals, a rousing send-off for Team Canada. Peak season in Japan. The big one, game time for the heroes of winter. The Olympics deliver a cascade of emotions. From overwhelming personal triumph to wide-eyed wonder. From pure, unabashed joy to the unforeseen Exhilaration of perfection. All subplots in this remarkable season that began last fall and brings us to springtime in Minneapolis, U.S. Rod Olympic champions Artur Dmitriev and Oksana Kazakova of Russia have withdrawn. The reason? Bad sushi. Last night, Artur Dmitriev went out for sushi, came down with food poisoning, was too ill, continued to throw up through most of the day, did not practice this morning. In fact, went to hospital, was on IV for a short period of time. Because he was dehydrated, he has been released from hospital, but they have had to withdraw. I spoke to their coach, Tamara Mosvina, and they said, as she said, they are extremely disappointed about this turn of events. Even uh, uh, when he didn't skate the, today, in the morning, he told don't bother, we'll skate, we'll skate. His uh, partner started to panic, but he told her, don't bother. But then he, uh, uh, it was worse, worse, uh, and uh, he had to withdraw, and I am very disappointed. Well, that is not the only withdrawal. The American national champions of Kyoko Ina and Jason Dungeon have also withdrawn. The reason for that, during practice on Sunday, Kyoko Ina nailed Jason Dungeon in the face with her elbow. Dungeon suffered a hairline fracture just around his eyebrow and a seriously injured elbow for Kyoko Ina, so they have withdrawn from the competition. Earlier today, the compulsory dances were held. It was a golden waltz and the silver samba. Let's take a look at highlights from the silver samba from earlier today, and this is the French team of Anasina and Pezera. After the Golden Waltz, Anasina and Pezirat were in third place. Their Silver Samba was extremely strong, and they found themselves in second. Here's a little bit of a slip here by Filiova and Ovsianikov in their Silver Samba. They were first after the Golden Waltz. Watch the little move there. A, just a slight problem, but they were still strong enough for first place. That brings us to the Canadian team, Shailen Bourne and Victor Kraft. A very strong waltz put them in second place. And the Silver Samba extremely close again, but they were in third place after the Samba. Take a look at the ordinals after the Samba. Two first place ordinals for Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz. 
a third and a second for Angelica Krilova and Oleg Obsienikov, and a second and a third for Anastina Enpezida. It is that close. So the compulsory dance stands right now. Krilova and Obsienikov in first place. Marina Anastina and Gwendal Pezera are in second place, but so too are Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz. It is a dead heat right now. In fourth place, Lobacheva and Averbu, the American team, very popular here in Minneapolis, Puntalin and Swallow are in fifth, and Chantal Lefebvre and Michelle Brunet are in 18th position. The original dance is set for Thursday, the free dance on Friday. Now let's go to Barb and Rod in our commentary position. Barb, this rash of pullouts means that for the first time in figure skating history, there will be a complete turnover from Olympic champions to world champions. And, Rod, the podium is suddenly wide open. Aside from the top spot, which is pretty much reserved for Bereshnaya and Sikorlitsi, nobody can touch them. There's about six or seven teams here, some of them new faces, who really have the opportunity to seize the day. Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz, the Canadian champions, come in here. A great window of opportunity for them. Marie-Claude Savard-Gagnon and Luc Brunet, we must mention, they had a terrible accident last week. And they come in here battered. The timing has been bad for them because they were skating so well for two weeks in preparation to this, and they had a horrible fall. I think their confidence has been a little bit shaken. I just hope that both our Canadian teams come out and, and really skate well here tonight. Zakova and Dmitriev, that was startling. You know Artur Dmitriev. You, you, you might question some of the withdrawals this week, but Artur Dmitriev would skate through a snowstorm. And I spoke to Tamara Moskvina right after their practice this morning. He came out on the ice, and he looked deathly ill. I, I spoke to her, and she said to me, this is not a trick, this is not a trick. I think she was <laughs> worried that... You know, this was all a big plan, but uh, definitely they had plans to skate. And uh, so did Ina and Dungeon, uh, the, the terrible accident in their practice. And so now, here is a great opportunity for Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz, the Canadian champions. If ever the door was open for them, it is now. There is Mr. Wirtz, Gunter, and his wife, Jane. You know the people in Marathon, Ontario are watching. Uh, they own a bar there, Brews and Cues, and I know that that is a, I guess the the number one spot, uh, probably the the home box office for the Sergeant and Works fan club. <laughs> the key for them is to nail the side by side triple toe, like it is for everybody. But for Christy, she's really had difficulties with that jump. Great season. Great Canadian support Canada, here in Minneapolis. Sergeant and Chris Ward. Maple Leafs all over. And here it is, their first step at this world championship.
delivered tonight in Minneapolis. This is so great to see. They've had a tough season, a very disappointing Olympics, but to end it off like this is wonderful. Matrimony on the horizon for these two, but before they walk down the aisle, their goal is to step onto a world podium. Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz, along with brother Paul, their coach, Marina Zueva, their choreographer. They were all business. And look at these side-by-side -side triples, just like butter. Here's the side-by-side -side pair spin. You see the gorgeous unison. The judges marks for Christy Sargent and Chris Words for required elements. And watch how quickly she descends five, into this two, death spiral. Five, 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 four, five, one, five, zero, five, three. Required five, elements one, marks five, five two, five, 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 five zero from the German judge. And their marks for presentation. Australian judge five, 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 five presentation four, marks five, five, a little bit better. Five, two, but that's a good start for Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz, our Canadian five, champions. Five and five, five. And representing Germany, please welcome now Peggy Schwartz and Mirko Müller. With the absence of defending world champions Mandy Wurzel and Ingo Stoya because of injury, the German spotlight shines on these two, Peggy Schwartz and Mirko Müller, who finished ninth in Nagano, and they are the German national champions. And this is a team of about six or seven teams that I think could possibly move towards the medal podium. They have everything that it takes. They open with a beautiful back outside death spiral. Great position. He hits the toe. The critical element for all of the teams, the side-by-side -side triple toe loop. And they do them, she just barely hung, hung on to that. for two years. Peggy took a year off after 1995 to have a baby. And decided she wasn't finished yet, found a new partner, and here she is. It has been an eventful two years, though. They have suffered a number of injuries. by side spins beautiful position right in unison and those are very likely the best that you will see in this competition they close with their best move what a nice start in Minneapolis for Peggy Schwartz and Mirko Mueller.
whenever we are at a major international competition, we often mention the German names Wurzel and Steuer. We might be mentioning Schwartz and Mueller quite a bit this week. And this performance set the tone with these triple toe loops. She barely hangs on to that. But they were so comfortable, and these side-by-side -side spins were exquisite. Look at the positions are so exact with one another. Very precise. Required elements marks are a little low. Five twos, five fours, five point five. Five three and five. Judges leaving some room for. And the field to come, presentation. presentation marks. Five, four, five fours five, and a 5.6. Five, 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 they have four, to be happy, Peggy five, Schwartz four, and Mirko Mueller. Five, six, five, four, five, four, and five, four. Yep. 14,000 people in the Target Center tonight for the pair short program as our coverage on CTV continues all week long. No Elvis Stoiko this week. No Tara Lipinski. No Kazakova and Dmitriev tonight. No Grishuk and Platov. No Olympic champions in the field. And so we talked about doors being opened. Elena Berezhnaya and Anton Sigarlitsi certainly have a chance as young skaters to become world champions. Absolutely. And even with Kazakova and Dmitriev in the field, even if they were skating, this team is still the favorite to win if they skate clean. The only question here, they are, they're, they're unquestionably the far and above the best team here. All around team, absolutely. The only question is, can he hold this together? He's, he's been known, we saw him in the, Olymp in the Olympics struggle towards the end of the program. Jelena Berezhnaya and Anton Sikorelica. Will be this be the moment? Second at the Olympics still isn't bad, but my oh my, to be named world champions and to carve a destiny on their own, it could happen beginning right here. by side triple jump jump and Anton miss oh and they both go down unbelievable difficult since the Olympics because there's been so many celebrations they've had very little time for skating between them and Kazakov and Dmitriev.
It's been a night of dramatic turns so far. Not an upward one for Berejnaya and Sigurlitsi. A rather startling development. You know, you, you cannot predict the unpredictable. Everyone ready to hand this title Absolutely. to these people. I that's did. why they call that's why <laughs> I, I said right off the top of the show I reserve the top spot for them they both have difficulties here it's really unusual to see Elena go down she usually is is very very consistent on that jump the question is what are the judges going to do with this quality uh, in terms of quality every other element is just so strong the artistic mark is so strong but they've, they've got a major deduction, a point four deduction there, because they and both no, missed the jump. Marks, and if it's not there, Jelena, you know that someone is going to cry out. Release, uh, four required elements. Five, two, five, four, five, four, five, three. The marks five, one, five, being announced two, to the building. Five, 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 five three, twos, five, five fours, four. five, three, five, one, five, three. These marks will five, be good six, enough to put them five, ahead nine, of Schwartz five, and Mueller five, and also eight, ahead of Sargent and Wirtz. Presentation five, marks nine, certainly five, pushing eight, them up. They five, did it again. Nine. Another gift. Hands clenched. This is the Polish team, the Polish champions. Dorota Zagorska and Mariusz Szudek. Coming off a 10th place finish in Nagano at the Winter Olympics at the World last year, they were eighth, so they have the goods. They can do it. They're a very strong team technically. They have some of the best lifts that you will see in the competition. A little bit unrefined artistically. Triple toe loops and he doubled. one of the lifts I was talking about. Very, very innovative team. And they close with the combination spin. Strong performance. Great lifts. But doubling the triple. Judges marks after this. Polish pair champions, Zagorska and Szudek. And he's not looking extremely happy with himself. 
five, He's usually three, very consistent five, on that zero, jump. Five, four, five, Barish Nia Sigurlitsi first. Three, five, Look at these four, marks. Schwartz Mueller second. Five, four, Some of these judges five, missed five, the fact that he doubled that jump. Presentation five, marks are five, strong, three, and Zagorsa and Shudek are unbelievable. ahead of Sargent and Wirtz. Unbelievable. Someone five, three, asleep five, at the wheel on the other side of the rink. <laughs> Jenny Mino and Todd Sand. Two people who have had a career full of ups and downs. U.S. champions at one time, injuries, third in the world at one time. Now this is their last amateur competition. Jenny Mino and Todd Sand from the United States. In 95 and 96, they came very close to winning the world title. It was only one jump both times that held them back. If they can nail the jump here, they could turn pro with a medal around their neck. couple of years in their home country they've been chasing the young upstarts Kyoko Ina and Jason Dungeon but with their absence in this competition because of injury now they can concentrate on taking on the rest of the field and I think it's just so great when you can finish your amateur career in your home country I mean you can hear the crowd here they're behind them and this this would be wonderful for them to finish it on a high distance between them there, a unison problem. you're going to hear this place erupt. Well, you know what? They skated this program all out. Well, Barb, if you're going to go out, this is the way to go. I remember it very clearly in 84. Being in your home country has all the advantages. You feel at home. And they were at home here tonight. They're also halfway home to what could be an outstanding end to a great career. Husband and wife, Jenny Mino and Todd Sand, five, required seven, elements marks. Five, five sixes, five seven, five point two from the five, German judge. Those are great marks. Five, this has six, to be such a sweet five, moment six, for them to put that five, program three. down in front of a home crowd. Their their final, final skate as eligible five, skaters. Seven, Over five, the program. Six, Overcoming so five, much seven, adversity. Five, Presentation five, marks, seven, Jenny Mino and Todd five, Sand five, will head to five, the free seven, skate five, in first seven, place. The United States number one, Mino and Sand, and second, Barish Naya and Sigurlitsky, but should they be? Peggy Schwartz, Mirko Mueller, in third, 
Zagorska in Shudek. They were fine, but they had a mistake, a blatant error, not picked up by the judges. Sargent and Wirtz, the victim of that, they are currently in fifth. Some of the other skaters that skated earlier tonight, including Marie Clotes of Arguignan and Luke Verde, unable to show them to you tonight. We'll have them for you tomorrow afternoon on our afternoon picks, and they currently are in 12th position. Last night, the pair's short program. They will award the medals later today. Mino and Sand of the United States lead the way, but now let's take you back to last night in the short program of our Canadian teams, beginning with Luc Brede and Mary Claude Sabatian. <laughs> Twelfth place after the short program. Afterwards, they said they were just so happy to get a good performance in. They had a disappointment.